Welcome, folks, one and all, to Let's Play Rise of the Wall Ball, released in 2017. Created by Watch the Toast, aka MS Paint Rocks, this is a total conversion mod for Doom 2 and the sequel of Shadow of the Wall Ball. This game takes everything that made Shadow of the Wall Ball great and cranks it up to 11. It seems like the leader of the evil space cat somehow survived having his head exploded, though he's rather bitter at the fact that Scott ruined his magnificent face. And so he's returned to Scott and Rebecca's world for revenge. He's kidnapped Scott, blown up their world, and tried to kill Rebecca, but a mysterious force rescued her and told her to go north to the big clearing. It's the only lead that she has, so let us go! to the game, and select a new game. We can select easy, medium, and hard, but unlike the first game, we don't get to select an episode. We have to start from the beginning and work through all three episodes one at a time. Much like the first game, I'm going to play on hard. Is this going to be a mistake? Probably, but let's go anyway. The first edition compared to the first game is this amazing screen that shows you all the levels you've been to and where you are. We're in episode 1, Through the Bushes. Into the Woods is level 1, so let's go! Here we are in the beginning location, and you can already see that there is no ceiling. We're going to be going quite high up in this game. Let's press F1 to see all the controls, because there's a handy reference sheet here. Have you got everything? Have you noticed that there are more weapons to choose from? Good! Rise of the Wall Ball, created by Watch the Toast, aka MS Paint Rocks. Let's go. You'll notice that Rebecca is the quintessential essence of the 90s. Using a skateboard, wearing a backwards baseball cap, the only way she could be more 90s is if she was currently doing the Bartman. And that is awesome. Let's go, shall we? We have 20 shots for our pistol, and we also have a melee attack. It's not a punch, it's a kick. Let's go forward and see the first thing that has changed, because this game is a huge homage to Rise of the Triad. So we have bouncy spring pads, mushrooms that make you go woo! How much woo do we get? So much woo! We're going to be using those a lot in this game. And there's a spring pad if you want to go back. But we don't want to go back. We want to go forward, so woo! There are 21 foes to take care of and three secrets to find. There's also that timer there. We won't be seeing how fast they go through these levels at the end of each level, as the time is not shown, which is good, because I'm always known for getting through levels quickly. I'm really not. Let's move forward and find our very first secret. Secrets are quite well hidden in this game. This one especially so. Free prisoners by using the use key. We could do that, or we could kick them in the face. And I think I'll be kicking them in the face. Be free! Teleport away! I don't know where you're teleporting to, because the world's kind of been blown into three pieces. Probably somewhere safer here. Notice that we weren't given golden shotgun ammunition. Unfortunately, the golden shotgun is not present in this game. We'll be getting even cooler weapons as time goes on. Don't believe me? Oh, you'll see in time. Let's go and find a foe to take care of, shall we? Some of the foes we're going to find quite familiar. Like this person! Ha ha! You are gone. And we'll be given the clue that cracked walls can be destroyed. This game is very friendly to people who haven't played Shadow of the Wall Ball. But if you've already played that one, you'll know that that's something you can do. And you'll notice this secret that tells you sometimes the walls that you're going to have to break aren't on the ground level. In here is another one of the secrets. This one doesn't have anyone to rescue, but it does have that much needed coffee that we're going to be using to get armor. We need to be careful here because these mushrooms will bounce us into those spikes and we don't want to uh, impact with those spikes. We do want these shotgun shells though. And to go back here, so that we can get rid of this bit of wall. We're very quickly going to be introduced to the second uh, enemy that we can find, this foe! And they are quite tricky with the pistol. This game generally has wide open areas with lots of opponents, much like Rise of the Triad. There's also new dialogue for some of the older enemies. We may have heard that just there. One of them said after her, as opposed to saying after him in the first game. Nice touch. 
Let's see if we can find any more foes. You don't belong here. Like you! And you! And you're gone. There's a lot of health in these areas, which makes up for the fact that there are a lot of opponents to face. Will we find the chain gun? I'm sure we will eventually. For now, we have a few ways we can go. We can go this way, or we can go that way. We'll probably go that way in a bit. We'll go this way right now. Any foes in here? Yes. There are some prowlers, and we want to actually get away from these foes quite quickly by using this spring to get the shotgun. We could use the uh, pistol on the prowler and take advantage of the uh, stunning uh, thing the pistol can do. Shooting with the pistol constantly will stagger people, but I'd much rather get that shotgun, even though we got hurt quite a bit. That rolling ball of spiky yarn will hurt enemies as well as you. Don't let it touch you. I'm going to grab this health here. And here is the air mechanic from the first game. We want to avoid uh, the spikes and grab this key. Boing! And we're back here. We need this key to complete the level. Let's go through here again and find some more health, as we're really going to need more health if we're going to survive on hard mode. Already, the evil space cats have made a home for themselves. Maybe when Scott and Rebecca were hibernating was when they started their evil plan. You don't belong here. No, we don't. You're quite right. We'll take care of you and also you. There we go. Much like in the first game, you can destroy things like the plants to get health which is nice. We want some more health. Brilliant. There's also going to be a return to the transmission screens. Let's see just how happy the leader of the Space Cats is to know that we're alive. I don't think they will. And you can destroy those screens much like you can in the first game, which is awesome. Now, we see a new mechanic. The scratching post by pressing use can be climbed, though you have to press use repeatedly. We'll be doing that because we want to go this way and use all of these bouncy mushrooms to get over to here so that we can get this shotgun just for the ammunition. That's not a secret. The final secret is by the exit. Over here brings us to where we use the blue key. And we are going to be using the blue key in a moment, but first, let's grab that ammunition. And find you! Hello! The game's teaching us how to end the levels by activating the countdown and then finding the exit. We want to do one thing first before we do that, however. We don't want to try and get this secret while we're running for our lives. Look at all this cool stuff up here! Lots of coffee, lots of ammunition, and a wall that we can break. Which brings us to the final secret. Over here, to be exact, we'll bounce over to here and free these people by kicking them in the face. I know we're breaking their bonds by kicking them, but I like the uh, fact that it looks like we're kicking them in the face. It's very silly. We're going to use the mushroom to get back to here, and then we're going to do a little bit of backtracking. I think we'll go this way. Why not? A bit of variety to get to the... Ah, we can't go that way. Silly me, we actually have to go this way, don't we? Yes, we do. Got to remember, you can only go this way. Don't go to here, see this, and then go, hmm, I made a silly mistake. We're going to save because, who knows, we might fail at getting to the exit. We're probably not going to. We use this, activate the shutdown, and then run! We have 10 seconds like before. These are some very slow seconds this time. The first level is quite generous. We have to go this way, and of course... Explosions! So many explosions. We got absolutely everything. On to level two, Muddy Waters. Who wants to bet we're going to be exploring them? That we are. Here are some floating platforms that we're going to be using quite a bit. They were in Rise of the Triad, and they typically had goodies on them, or were ways to navigate around. We're going to see a lot of them. They do have the logo of the evil space cats on them. So we want to get rid of them after we've saved the world. If we can save the world. Hello! A huge group of enemies? No problem. We're armed with a shotgun after all. Now we could use this to get over to here and grab more shotgun ammunition. If we're 
really good with our running, though. We can use this to get over to here and see all these foes that we're going to take care of with the protection of this small fence. There we go. We still took a lot of damage, but that's okay. You don't belong here. We don't. You're quite right, but neither do you. We'll grab a little bit more ammunition and see what the... Uh, Evil Space Cat Leader has to say, as I'm pretty sure there is a monitor somewhere around here. Not here specifically. Let's just destroy that. Uh-oh! It's the Cat Commander again! Already encountered on level 2. Mechanics for the Cat Commander, much the same. Fires really dangerous missiles that you really want to avoid. We do not have the coffee to survive a direct hit from uh, that attack without taking lots of damage. But the shotgun, just like before, really good at dispatching that enemy. Now notice that there is a entirely red mushroom there. Hello, there's also you, and now you're gone. The red mushroom will bounce you up, but so high that you'll hit the ceiling and hurt yourself. Don't use them, unless you have to. I don't think you ever have to. Right, we've explored pretty much everywhere here, so let's go this way and find the shutdown button. We could just use that. Don't just use that. It is a bad idea. Here is a new enemy. This enemy will either fire that gun, which fires three projectiles, much like the uh, Cat Commander, or will drop explosive barrels. They are quite tricky. When they die, they drop an explosive barrel that can be blown up. If you could, the best thing that you want to do is have one of those enemies be defeated around lots of other foes, and then use the detonation to deal damage. Hello! What do you have to say? Also, you were really quick at getting all of these panels set up. Getting the electricity there must have been a hassle. I do not appreciate you polluting what's left of our planet. Really don't. Let's go up here, grab a little bit of ammunition, a little bit of health, and go this way into the sludge. We are going to save because these enemies are potentially quite dangerous. We see some bubbles there. We do. These bubbles are for a mutated fish. The way to deal with them is to let them get really close, back up, and then fire. Also, here are those saucer enemies. We'll take care of them using the pistol. Because why not? Somewhere around here, I believe, there is a secret. Right there way up in the wall. We're going to kick this secret, or miss as the case may be. I'm going to try again. There we go, much better. What's over here? But a power-up, and a really good one too. You see that giant jug of coffee? That is a huge amount of coffee, and we have 200% coffee armor. It's pretty useful. You're going to drop a variety of ammunition. We could do with all this. Not the shotgun shells, but the pistol rounds we can get some use out of. We still have two more secrets left to find. I don't think they're over here, though. There's a door we can go and examine. But first, I'm going to go this way and deal with the foes in this direction. And watch out for that spiky ball of yarn. We're going to go over here where it's safe and then move forward. Hello, there's you round there being very sneaky. Got to be quite careful of the enemy placement in this uh, game because it's very devious sometimes. There is an enemy that we've met before. The sort of uh, sorcerer-like cats. And there are quite a few of them here. There's also a spider kitty. Level two, and we're being reintroduced to the spider kit. And we do not have the chain gun to deal with that foe effectively, but we were able to do it just fine. Let us uh, use the scratching post to get up to here, get loads of ammunition, and note that we cannot go over there. There's nothing over there as far as I recall. Do we need some pistol ammo? No, we don't. Always worth checking, though. We can go this way for the litter disposal. Any place here we can go secret-wise? I see one right there. Secret revealed. Am I going to find them all? Possibly not, but I'll certainly try. Do not despair, you are free now! And away they go. I don't even need the stuff that they've dropped, but it's still nice to free them. Let's go this way and see. Oh, actually, let's get rid of this first. No food in there. Food there, though, marvelous. 
Anyone in here? This brings us back to here, so we've looped around. We want to go up there in a moment, to the aptly named Litter Disposal. This can be dangerous. In here, we're going to get an old friend, the Chain Gun. My Rebecca is happy to get that gun, as am I. It's a really good gun. We also need this key. We also need to get out of here because somebody has flushed and the litter is rising. Fortunately, we were just in time. So we can now go back the way we came and check out that green locked door. We could go this way. We could have gone the other way. It probably would have been safer. We'll go here and find that door. The door is over there. There aren't many foes left for us to take care of. Only four. Now, we know there's a few uh, opponents in here, like you and you. We don't have a good place to uh, navigate around avoiding your attacks at all. With all these bouncy mushrooms, we needed to be careful. We have missed two foes, and I think they're over there. Hello! This is not good. This is not good at all. Let's actually bounce back and get hurt in the process, because I think we'll actually take less damage in the long run if we do that. That was a demo of the bouncy mushrooms that will bounce you into the ceiling. The exit is right here. We are missing a secret. Now, where is that secret? It's over here. I thought it was somewhere nearby. We can get some more huge amounts of coffee. And huge amounts of coffee, always a good thing for Rebecca. Just what she needs when she's been attacked by evil space cats. Any more health for us around here somewhere? I think there's a little bit of health. There's ammunition, don't need that. This is the uh, literal beginning of the level though, so we're not heading in the right direction to find more health. There may have been a tiny bit more health over here. Always a good idea to enter a new level with as much health as you can possibly get. There wasn't any here. Okay, let's just go to the uh, shutdown button and leave, shall we? We'll find more health later. But of course, we're going to save because it could be a distance Ten. away. Follow Nine. the dotted line and follow it quickly, Seven. for who knows what might happen. Eight. Like having Five. to navigate all of these. Four. Bounce over here, and we are free. And of course, explosions! Ha <laughs> ha! Level completed. We missed one item, but we got all the secrets, so that's fine. On to the gym. The gym? There's a foe over there behind that um, window. We won't be able to get to them. You could also hear that radio there playing some encouraging music while they exercise. No encouraging music for them. You're the enemy. We can't let you be encouraged. Let's listen to what the cat leader has to say. Well, that's not encouraging at all. We may be facing some pretty tricky foes soon enough. Like all of you. We need to uh, back up and use this area to our advantage. Look food that's totally not really good for you. You shouldn't have this food while you're exercising, you know. We'll grab that coffee, even though I didn't need it. Really shouldn't have grabbed it. Also, I can hear that prowler. Where is that prowler? Somewhere nearby, I imagine. Yep, there you are. And you took some damage from that giant spiky ball of yarn. Marvelous. Let's go over here and find one of the secrets, because I couldn't find the secrets here for quite a while. There's you, and you, and you. You can get rid of you as well. And all of you. The secret right there is the easy one to find. There's no uh, fruit there. Here though, here is the secret exit. For this game has secret levels much like the first game. Hello, would you like to try and take care of me? I'm afraid you can't. Rebecca is a bit annoyed at all the stuff that you've done. You know, blowing up her home planet, kidnapping her boyfriend. We've got a score to settle. Also, notice this absolutely uh, muscled up alien space cat. Are we going to be facing that foe later on? Most likely. Do we want to go down here? Probably. And we're going to. We can go over here, 
smash this, and take care of you, and then find you. This might have been a mistake. You're going to go over there, though, which works to my benefit because you can't catch up to me. This area has a key that we need. The green key. Might as well grab it and any ammunition that we need, but we don't uh, need any ammunition. What we do need to do is keep going this way. And by this way, I mean past the spikes to a secret. Where this one poor bird was trapped. Don't worry, you're free now, and you gave us quite a few shotgun shots. We'll just smash this here and return back to this location. We have found two of the four secrets. Not too bad. And when we come back, folks, we'll continue to explore the gym. Deal with all the foes here, go to the secret level, and be introduced to a mechanic that's not going to be used until a lot later. Unless we go to that secret level. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later. Did you realize that this tune is a remix of one of the uh, tracks from Doom? It took me a while to figure that out. It probably didn't take you a while. Later.